Hello everybody, now today we are playing Little Nightmares. This game is basically nightmare fuel, you can pretty much tell by the name. Let's get started. Okay, so it starts with you escaping from- OH MY GOD, WHAT IS THAT THING?! Now, this guy's name is The Janitor, but during the filming time, I keep on calling him Useless. And how you escape Useless is you just go down this pipe and you try not to scream. And then you make it to the next zone which is this ginormous shoe pile. So far, I think this is the most normal thing about this game. There's no monsters attacking me, and we're just walking through the shoe pile. Honestly, I'm looking for the Travis Scott shoes, so I hope I could see- <gasps> What is that thing? What is that? Now, as you can see, there's something in the shoe pile, and it's fearsome. But it's pretty much easy to escape it. You just gotta jump to each suitcase and hoping this thing doesn't catch up to you in time. But, that thing is unknown what it is. Moving on from that traumatic experience, basically you just got- OH MY GOD HE'S BACK! So here, basically you just gotta try to outmaneuver him, which is going under pipes, and basically sprinting for your life. You guys might wonder why I paused here, it's because I was terrified. Okay, moving on from that, you basically get in the elevator and hide in a box while he chases you inside the elevator. And basically here, I just started to roast him a lot. Bro, where were you during basketball tryouts, bro? Oh my god, look at them long arms, bro. You can, you can friggin' touch the rim every time, bro. Where were you dunking? Oh my god! Okay, that's enough of that. So, then you basically wait till the elevator finally stops. No, my little homie! Go, go, go! Oh no! No! Okay, now here is where I'm at, one of my best friends throughout this whole game. Show my boy Little Muto. Little Muto, look, I'll set him down. Show my boy Little Muto. But sadly, all good things come to an end. Okay, so moving on with that, you have to throw a monkey to make noise, and you have to sprint for your life, hoping this thing doesn't grab you, which I got extremely close to. And then you climb up this dresser, which somehow is very high up, but not high enough for these guys' long arms. Okay, so moving along with that, you basically climb through vents, and eventually you get to this part. Where this thing has some giant upper body strength. So basically after that, you push this door down, which makes a lot of noise. And more with the clocks, which makes more noise. And then this thing comes down. Luckily, you can grab a shoe and quickly hit the button to open this door. And then... Sprint for your life! You gotta run before this pencil arm looking thing starts coming for you. Luckily, after that, you make it to what looks like a library, and you basically climb up these bookshelves. Oh my god. I swear, there's like, there's like five of them. Th there has to be like five. But all you have to do is keep on turning this lever, and jump on a piano, and try to make it to this other shelf before the janitor gets back. Okay, so moving on from that, like, it's not really hard. All you have to do is go through these fence. Nothing bad really has- OH GOD! Okay, you have to sneak by this man's hands next time. Keep that in mind. After that, you basically just jump down and you just start running because guess who's back? Back again. Long arms back. Tell a friend. And you slide through this door and here's where the final fight happens. Hang on, bro, let me help you real quick, I'll just move this- OH NO! Oh, pencil arms are no more. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, tell me if you want to see a part 2, because I will make a part 2 to this. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye crawled into the industry a saturated circus manipulating like hillary they say i'm crazy but lately i've been defending me because take a look around motherfucker everyone's digging me i live in a constant state of fear and misery
you're losing anymore.